Hey, good evening, YouTube. Jay here is checking in. This is just a quick lead in uh, on this video I'm doing on a economical, uh, very economical soda stream replacement. Um, before I go, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to get a few more subscribers onto the channel uh, as I start putting some more random technical content and vehicle maintenance and different project stuff like that on there. Uh, so let's uh, get right down to the nuts and bolts of it and I'll show you what it takes to have a soda stream replacement. Uh, we're going to go out in the garage here real quick. The first thing that you'll need is a CO2 tank. Uh, now there's two types of CO2 tanks. There's plain old CO2 like you'd use for welding and then there's food grade CO2. And the food grade tanks have this kind of plastic neck thing protecting the valve on the tank. Um, they say that the non-food grade CO2 has oil in it or something like that. And that might affect the flavor of your beverage or whatever. Just FYI, I don't know. I haven't tried it any other way. Uh, on the, For your tank, you will need a regulator set up. Uh, this one I actually found in the trash, or in a trash pile, and you'll see that I repeated in the video. Uh, the gauges were bro smashed on it, so I got on eBay and just got the lowest uh, price gauges I could find, and they, they work fine. Um, this tank, I mean, I've had it probably for two, three years now, and I'll go ahead and open it up, and you can see, well, focus, you bastard. You can see that uh, I'm still well in in the full range because you just don't you just don't use that much CO2 with my method. Um, the, there's a hose, and I, and I will have links to all this stuff uh, down in the description below too. So this is the uh, carboy connector, and we'll go out in the kitchen here, and uh, I'll show you exactly what other parts are needed. The other key thing that you, in uh, part numbers below, this is a screw-on adapter for the top of a two-liter soda or one-liter soda bottle. Uh, you buy these from Amazon. They usually come with a spare set of rubber gaskets. Uh, and there's a kit that actually comes with the vinyl, really super vi flexible vinyl hose and this little thing here that's a diffuser slash sandstone and this is what actually helps put the carbon dioxide into the water and i just use a bottle and you know there's a slight a slight concern that one of these days i'll be gassing this thing up and it'll rupture and i'll be really wet and i don't think i'd be injured um, just wet and embarrassed but uh, sandstone there and the thing you need to get the your fizzy water out is one of these valve setups with the carboy connector and what essentially is a beer tap, which actually probably could work as a beer tap too. Anyway, both parts will be down in the description below. And uh, so let's fade out and uh, show you how, how you make this work. Uh, by the way, um, filling up that big CO2 tank, or not filling it, well, fill it, swapping it, because I, I go to industrial gas supply it's over here mckinney whatever anyway uh i don't think i paid more than 44 dollars to swap tanks that tank will probably last me 15 years at the rate that i'm using it and the other cool thing is you can r run that tank down to 50 psi you'll get every last ounce or every cubic foot of co2 out of that tank versus doing a soda stream which is not like a rip off at $30 to swap a, a carbon dioxide canister? Screw you. Anyway, uh, this is way cheaper, way better, and I love it, and I just wanted to share it with the world, so let me show how it works. In this segment, I'm going to video me operating my replacement for the soda stream. What I do to put the fizz in the water, take, take this connector, you pull back on the outer ring, push it on the bottle, 
and then push it on and it snaps on there. I then open the bottle or open the, the tank and you see it pumping stuff in there. And so it helps if the, number one, the water has to be cold, it has to be refrigerated. Somehow in that process, it, it, with it being cold, it can accept more CO2. So then I just sit here and I'm shaking it. It'll do a shake for about 20 to 30 seconds. And I'm watching the pressure gauge on the hose side coming to this bottle. And I'm shaking it, I'm seeing the gauge bouncing around, which means that it's still metering out carbon dioxide to this water. It's a great exercise. I can stop and I see just a little bit of bubbles still coming out of that sandstone in the bottom. Give a quick follow up shake, see if it's, yeah, it's done. Turn the, turn the valve off on the tank. You can squeeze, squeeze here on the top, pops off, stash that on, on the deal. And we have fizzy water. All right, now we have this pressurized two liter bottle of water. Now, you might be asking, okay, well, <laughs> it's got this connector on the top, what do you do now? Well, also on Amazon, you can get this set up, which has the carboy, that's what I think it's called, carboy connector, that goes on top of this bottle. And this part here, this is a collar, a, a, a like a plumber's union to connect this what essentially looks like a beer dispenser and you see this thing moves ever so slightly so what we do ensuring the handle is in a rearward position let me try doing this hold the camera with the screwed up hand pull up on the collar on the bottle, you click it on there, push down, <laughs> and that's what happens. <laughs> and that's what happens. Since I put it on and the lever was back, so got a little bit of water on the floor, no big deal. We have instant seltzer water. <laughs> Success.